right. So I've arrived at a state park, but I'm not sure it's the right state park. Good morning, beautiful people. It's eight o'clock, it's the 29th of October. To be honest, I had the most horrendous night's sleep because I've got the ocean on this side, like waves crashing, which was amazing. But then on this side, I've got traffic and I was also starting to get really paranoid because it was quite remote. It's remote where I am, but it's also quite exposed and quite open. And so, you know, just like, oh, is that traffic? Is that like another car like on the road where I'm camping? And then I was worried about my bike outside. So I kept, excuse me, so I kept like undoing, undoing here and like having a look outside to see um, if my bike was still there. I, it was almost like, you know, in your head and you're like, you're hearing footprints and footsteps. It's like, is somebody outside there? Is somebody there? It wasn't. It's all perfectly fine. There's nobody here. It's completely remote. But I just did not, uh, I did not sleep well. But anyway, time to get up, time to get moving. Um, no idea how far I'm going to travel today because I ended up doing like an extra 10 miles. So the book basically says do 40 miles today, but I've already done 10 miles of that 40 miles. So it's whether I just do 30 miles or go a little bit further. Yeah, who knows uh, but yeah feeling even though I haven't really slept I'm feeling good I'm feeling strong um, yeah I'm excited about going to LA it's going to be fun morning dun, dun, dun. let me show you oh I was going to say let me show you the beautiful view that we've got here um, but it's all misty and cloudy so this is how close we are to the ocean down there um, yeah, railway tracks, uh, road, I think my tent is a little bit wet, which might not be that bad. Mm. A little bit damp, but it is what it is. Right, let's get packed up, let's get moving. <laughs> breakfast I'm going to be having this fabulous avocado homegrown boom dun, dun, dun. look how amazing this is Ta -da. perfect best way to start the day shining but there's a lot of cloud cover so it's not as intense as it has been over the past couple of days I'm basically following along on this like bike path which is here and that's like the main highway over there so this is a little bit quieter and there's a bit more of a hard shoulder so yeah I'm just gonna continue on down here until I get to where I'm going to um, I've just stopped at this gorgeous little place I'm in Summerland having a protein smoothie chocolate cookies and a croissant as my bike. Um, yeah, super great path, away from the traffic, winning. Welcome to Ventura. It's about 
quarter to six, trying to do a little shortcut through a military base. I don't recommend it. <laughs> My map showed me that it looked as though it was going that way. So I like pulled up, I was like, is this how I get to the state park? They were like, no, unless you want to join the military. You know, you're thinking, oh, I should maybe have some banter and say, oh no, the Russians have already recruited me. But then you think, actually, I better not say that. That's not going to be very funny, is it? Um, so yeah, this is the beach. Sun, beautiful road behind me. So basically I need to carry on along this road and hopefully in the next couple of miles um, I'll be at the state park. Woohoo! Right, so I've arrived at a state park, but I'm not sure it's the right state park because so I've just got to get my book out and have a quick look to see where the heck I am. So I have basically just pulled into Point Magoo and I've got another two miles to go to get to Sycamore Canyon Campground, which is where the hiker biker is tonight. Two more miles. I've arrived at the campground, but two things concern me. One, I can't see the hiker biker rates, and I'd be really pissed off if I have to pay like forty dollars. That would really annoy me. So I'm just going to set up my my tent anyway and see what happens. Um, I've arrived. Uh, stupidly, I haven't actually bought any food. Like I don't know how I ended up forgetting. I stopped off for some lunch, had some lunch, and then I've just been riding all day. And now it's like six o'clock, half six. What time is it? It's now, yeah, twenty past six. So I don't actually have any food on me, but. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna set up my tent, go to bed, get up early and go do stuff in the morning. Oh well, I'm just gonna set up here like Ugh. Right, I hope you can see me. I'm having some chewing gum for dinner. Very filling. Wouldn't recommend it after a seventy mile day. Quarter to seven. I'm gonna read for like an hour or so, then um head out, brush my teeth, go to the toilet and then go to sleep. Yay! But good night. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Good morning, beautiful people. So I actually did manage to find the hiker biker site, which is basically included in this like, wooded area. So I walked down this way, found a nice little table, set up my tent on the flattest ground I could find. Um, yeah, we're heading to LA today. About thirty odd miles. I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you about this in a minute. So what I was saying earlier is basically I've been a little too efficient. So it is the 30th of October, 8.36 in the morning, and I need to be in LA on the 31st. But I'm currently only 32 miles, so Port Magoo to Santa Monica, 32 miles, elevation 1,310 feet. So I basically don't have that long to go. It'll probably take me like three hours, four hours to get there, if that. But basically I don't have anywhere to stay tonight in Santa Monica. Um, I've got my accommodation booked on the 31st. So, I'm basically going to have to get to Santa Monica, find somewhere to stay, and then it's about a 16 mile ride to where I'm staying on the 31st. So that is my plan. But basically I've been too efficient. And I did too many miles yesterday where I should have just really just done like 30 instead of 70. I don't know why I did 70. I think I was just in the, in the zone where you know you just want to ride your bike and get some good miles in and it was beautiful scenery and it was just um yeah everything was just in flow or in sync so anyway um guys los angeles today los angeles can you believe it so that's where i started in vancouver all the way down here san francisco boom 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 Might be too dark to read, but Malibu, Malibu. It's quarter to twelve, and I was really ho hoping to find like some like gorgeous little surf shacky calf like along the beach, so I could have like a really nice breakfast. Hasn't happened. I've been riding for ages, and I really need to refuel, so I've stopped. Chocolate muffin, Gatorade, and a Snickers ice cream um, just to refuel me for the next uh, 13, 14 miles or so before I get into Santa Monica. But yeah, I'm just outside a garage forecourt. Glamorous. <laughs> I've just stopped to put more sunscreen on to stop my face from burning. 
but such a glorious day. I can't believe I'm, I'm probably only like about like 10 miles, probably less to um, to Santa Monica. along not the boardwalk but you know the bicycle path on the beach Santa Monica Pier about a mile away wow I honestly can't believe I made it to Los Angeles gosh it only feels like yesterday that I was in Vancouver pissing it down with rain crossing over the bridge being really unstable on my bike although now I've got a new bike but yeah this is amazing Hopefully, try not to run over a little kid in front of me. I've made it to the pier, which is cool. I'm now just using the city free Wi Fi to find accommodation for tonight because I haven't booked anywhere because I'm a day early. So, I'm hoping that there's going to be a cheap ass hostel close by so I don't have to spend uh, a lot of money for a bed for the night. So heavy right let's find my room 203 cards right here <laughs> 210 27 to five oh my god it's so heavy two oh, i just missed it Right, let's get myself sorted, maybe have a shower, sort my life out, if that's the plan. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? So it's the 31st of October and it feels like the last time I filmed was basically me just putting my gear in the cupboard or like um, unpacking. I'm basically packing again. So um, yeah, I got here yesterday, didn't really do much, went to the cinema, that was it and had an early night. So now time to ride to my next location, which is about 16 miles away in downtown Los Angeles. I'm gonna take the scenic route and go and do a little bit of sightseeing on the way. Um, we've got to check out of here by 11 o'clock and the time is currently 10.21. So I've got about uh, 30 minutes or so to sort my life out, which is what I seem to be doing all the time. But life is good. Locked and loaded, just ready to go. Let's go and hit Los Angeles traffic. Not well, hopefully not hit, you know, let's go join Los Angeles traffic and see what that's like. <laughs> This is what I wanted to find, a nice old bike path you see down here, going down there, winning. my accommodation so just gonna pack my bike get my laundry done get myself sorted shower and now I'm sorting out the area in the food shop for the next four days no it's in plastic bags don't hate me um, and then I had a sudden thought, I thought, oh my God, I think I've left my GoPro at the supermarket. And I was literally like, oh, so just literally dropped my bags on the floor, had a route around and found it, thank goodness. So I spent about $80 on food for the next couple of days. Quite healthy, avocados, eggs, bacon, cheese, bit of bread. Um, also a few little naughty snacks for tonight. I'm gonna watch, uh, gonna get Netflix on and chill by myself. 
<laughs> yeah, rock and roll. But it's, um, it's all good. I mean, I've got all day tomorrow to explore LA as well. Mm -hmm.